Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about the parts of an expression. So for the first two pages, you're gonna follow along with me, and then you have a chance to, to pause the video and try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right, so before we talk about the parts of an expression, let, let's get into just this what exactly is an expression. So what I did is I wrote down the definition here, I want you to copy down, okay? So a, an expression is a mathematical formula combining numbers and variables, okay? They do not include, okay, equal signs or inequalities. I should write that there. So they do not include equal sign or inequalities. So again, a mathematical formula combining numbers and variables. So again, please write that down. So over here, I, I created a little chart that shows some examples of expressions. Uh, five plus two, okay, we're adding five and two. That's an expression. Uh, 3x, 3 times x, well, that's an expression. Uh, here we have four groups of 5 plus 8x, okay, that's an expression. Over here we have examples of equations, right? 5 plus 2 equals 7, uh, 3x equals 15, uh, 4 times, uh, or 4 groups of 5 plus 8x equals negative 44. These are not expressions, these are equations. So once you're done with the writing down the definition, if you'd please turn the page. And now let's talk about parts of an expression, all right? So here we have negative 3x plus 10 plus 5x take away 6, all right? And what I recommend that you do is any subtraction sign that you see, okay, make it a plus, and then take the opposite of the number to the right. So the opposite of 6 is negative 6. All right, just a little bit easier when you make these all plus signs. All right, so what exactly is a term? Okay, so terms are values and expression that are separated by a positive sign. Okay, they can be a constant, a variable, or a constant and a variable. So here we actually have four terms. We have negative 3x, 10, 5x, and then negative 6. So this expression, we actually have four terms. All right, now let's go down to variable. A variable is an unknown term, all right? So here we have um, x, or really any letter is, is a variable, all right? So the variable uh, in this expression is x. Sometimes you might have more than one variable. It could be an x and a y, or it could be an a and a z. It can be anything. All right, a coefficient is the number in front of a variable. So here we have negative 3x, so there's the variable, right? So the coefficient is the negative 3. And we have another coefficient over here, right? Because we have 5x, so the 5 is the coefficient. All right, and then finally the constants. A constant is a term with no variable. So if you notice over here, we have no variable. So negative 6, that's a constant. And then we have one more, we have a 10. So that's a constant. All right, finally we need to add the like terms. All right, now like terms are values with the same variable, all right? So here we could add negative three X, so that's a term, and also five X. Those are like terms. But you can also add constants, okay? So the negative six, and the 10, those are also uh, like terms. And we'll get into how to simplify expressions a little bit, but first thing you have to understand is how to identify like terms, all right? So the key thing about this video is you need to understand what an expression is, and then the, the parts of an expression, the terms, the coefficients, the constants, and the variables. So when you pause the video and try the your turn now problems, and when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do with these practice problems. So here we have the expression 9y minus four plus two x plus 11. And we wanna first identify the variables, right? So remember the variables are the letters, the unknowns. So here we have a y and we also have an x. So the variables are the, the y and then also the x. All right, the coefficients, remember those are what's in front of the variables, right? So here we have nine y, so nine is coefficient. 
And then we also have a two uh, X, so the two is also coefficient. Now the constant, before we identify the constant, let's first again make this a plus, a negative, all right? That makes this negative four a little bit easier to see because that negative four is a constant because it doesn't have any variable attached to it. And then also the 11 over here, that's a constant. Uh, how many terms do we have? Well, remember, terms are divided by plus signs. So we have one, two, three, four terms, right? So there's four terms there. And then finally, the like terms, well, we 9y and 2x are not like terms because they don't have the same variable. But So our only like terms are the constants. So negative 4 and 11 were the like terms. All right, for the next one, we have 7x minus 4 plus 7x uh, plus 9. And again, let's first make this a plus a negative. And the variables we have just an x this time for a variable. Our coefficient, well, we have a 7x and another 7x, right? So the coefficients for this is just gonna be a seven. Our constants were a negative four and a nine. And then how many terms? We have, again, four terms. And then the like terms, we could combine seven x and seven x. And then finally the constants, we could combine the negative four and the nine. All right, how'd you do?